Well, hello there. Welcome back to some more Minecraft dinosaurs. This is, I think, the last one we recorded for months. Uh, it might not. We never know. Right, I did say I wanted some saplings here, but rather than having saplings, we have got wood and a bush. So we should be all right. Um, I'm going to pop this here and this here. So we're going to quickly have this, I think, something to this effect. It's going to just sort of... One more. One more. Doesn't feel right otherwise. Boop. And then come across. Then one up. Come on. Oh, damn it. Right. Pop. There we go. And then there we go. Something like that. We will put the leaves on it in a moment. Whereas this one will just be a, just a pretty uniform going straight up and leaves around. So pop leaves on this side. Oh, that was wrong. Do that so I can get it back. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And then grab that. And we can just go to town over here. Like that. Once again, falling into the water is just a massive amount of time. Wasted. And I want to get on top so that I can do something but to do that i'm gonna actually get quite creative here because i wanted to get like a bush sort of effect going alongside so let's do something like this and then i should be able to just go like this <laughs> and we want to go the same thing we did before but just like that and boom we have it get this back and we have a bush I've still got to put like loads down on this and then that. So I don't even know if we've got enough. Oh, woe is me. Woe is me right now. Fine. Right. Cool. I wanted some ivies hanging off this as well because I think that would look quite nice. Like that. And just have this like so. Before people say, oh, but a tree wouldn't get like sunlight and so it's going to die. It wouldn't look like that, you know? And I'm like, I get that, but I don't care. <laughs> Please remember, I'm not here for the accuracy. I'm here for the vibes and the fun. There we go. Perfect. So like that. I want some ivies just hanging off so it just sort of helps diffuse the shape a little bit, you know. Right. Let's get some of this like so. Okay. Like that. And then... Is there a way I can get up there? <laughs> I don't think so. And I'd like to, um, especially with just getting some stuff covered. That like does sort of fall into that tree as well, but that's not really the end of the world. I'd like to get up there and place some of this up there as well, rather than just down here. Uh, well, that's not the worst. Can I get that? Can I get that? Can I get it? I can. Amazing. Uh, just some on top as well. Give it some hair on its head, you know. Wait a second, can I climb this? <gasps> okay. Okay, I can do it. Yes! Right. We need more. Mm, no, we don't. Mm, I wouldn't mind some more. But it's not horrific. We need some vines. We need a few more of those. But it works. Speaking of vines, let's get... Uh, Got to use shears. Got to use shears. Let's start harvesting some of it because we'll be able to get some of it back, which is nice. Um, but I do need a little bit more of the bush just so that I can finish it off. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go upstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have to. Get the shears so I've got that ready. I don't have any bone meal. Okay, it's finished. It just needs some ivy. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's fine to be honest it doesn't need to be picture perfect it just needs to be done to a point that i'm very happy with it and then i can go all right what's going to go in there when i pass it there's a squid that has already spawned in the water that's kind of funny so i'm thinking um hmm, do we have to get a pick pithicus that'd be quite fun to have in here <laughs> wouldn't it but hey, right, so grab you, you, and you. That way we get that. 
And that. Perfect. That's four. Look, that's already dropped to the ground. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to get rid of it because... No, you know what? I'm am. And then grab these. Perfect. That should get me what I need from these. So... Because I'm on a nice little sort of almost like a drape that just falls down the entire way. And then on here, got some already on this side. So just something like here. Perfect. Ah, I wouldn't mind some around the top, but I'll survive. I'm not going to see everything, to be honest, anyway, because you, you've got like this almost obscured vision unless you come right here. You know, like this block here, actually, I would argue <laughs> it could just be glass, but. Hey, it's not in the world. I can now cover it up. But first, before we do that, let's figure out what's going to go in it. Hmm. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do the aquatic we've got ready as well? Or do I want to do both? Both or one of them? Hmm. Right. I'm going to flip a coin. Both will be heads. So flip a coin. It's tails, so we're going to do one of them. All right, heads is the water, tails is the um, one we just finished, terrestrial. Heads, so we're going water. So we're not even going to be putting anything in there just yet. So we're going to go in here. So let's go ahead and do what we did last time of this. Well, close to what we did last time. And figure out what is going to live in here. Do we have any types of shark? Uh... Helicopter. Oh, yes, we do. That makes me very happy. Let's have a look to see what it looks like. Okay, that is sick. You are living in here. Um, let's get some squid in here so they can murder things, but. They might also break some ammonites, so we're not going to put some ammonites in here as much as I'd like to. But the fact that there's helicopter in here makes me very happy. I think the last enclosure will probably be some Dunkleosteus. But this is like an almost throwback to the way the Megalodon enclosure is built. I kind of like that. So let's just quickly grab the sand and then throw the sand away. Throw the squid away. And get this back out. And let's have a look. Oh, look at them. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Some helicoprians just right there. And yes, when we do a final look round of the build, I do need to get rid of the stone underneath and stuff like that, but we will be doing a um, shaders look so that we can have a look to see how it looks with shaders. Obviously, that's going to tank the frame rate, but hey, we'll survive, I'm sure. It's got to like, bulk out the footage with the 60 frames of looking in the sky so that I get the um, average, effectively, of a 60 frame rate. It won't look too bad that way. Right, I don't know what else we need to do, to be honest, because that build's done. I don't know if I want to start another build. Um, well, we can. I mean, just looking now, it does feel quite nice just running past and seeing loads of finished product. Um, I think we've got up to here on that side. And this one's a... It's it's a meaty boy. It's, an in, it's a terrestrial again. Um, but if we were to work on, say, the aquatic, which is here... Uh, we also have one here that is terrestrial. Let me just double check. Yes, terrestrial. So, one, two, three, I think three enclosures left, right? So that was one, two, three, four enclosures left. Yeah, we're not going to this finish by episode 300. <laughs> Although I might get down to two or three and just leave the last two or three. Um, that way, when episode 300 goes out, uh, I can do a little bit of other stuff in the meantime like working on some urbanization working on the trains the railway whatever and you can fill in the gaps um with the world download you don't have to wait and see what i'm going to put in you can put whatever you want in and then i can put stuff in between other builds to take, give myself a bit of a break and still get a new creature out and i think that's quite a good idea so i think i will do one more enclosure i don't know if i wanted it to be the aquatic one just yet I don't want to do that one because that's too big to deal with for my brain right now. I think this or this one will be perfect. This one's very narrow, so I'm thinking insects. And that will be a nice change of pace. So we're going to do this one.
I think that's that's the next plan. So we will um, get the axe just to keep it all uniform. You know the drill. Uh, so we're going to replace this all. So with dirt. So replace dirt. I might throw a grass block or two in there. Uh, so on so forth. But for now, because this is insect based, let's go with dirt. Oh, wait, page up. There we go. And I don't need to worry about too much else. Page up, dirt. Do the same over here. Once again, up to this side because it gets a bit weird. Oh, damn. Uh, replace dirt. And for good measure, let's now do this individually. And like so. Um, actually, hold fire. Hold fire, squire. Let's go ahead and place this. Oops. Place this here. Get rid of that now. Don't have that in my inventory. And then go back to this and continuing that. Page up, enter. And down to here. Boom. Which is an entirely dirt enclosure. <laughs> that I might change, to be honest, but... Um, I think just getting it just so that it's got a base level, I'm happy with it. There's going to be insects in there. I'm not going to lie to you. Do we have any, like, Arthro... I know we've got Arthropleura. So we've got Arthropleura, e Arthropleura. What about Megania? Is it... So just Mega... Meganeura, sorry. That might be it. What I'm thinking of. Meganeura, Meganeura Nymph. Cool. So we can get some insects in there. I don't think we have, yeah, just spider, spider. Um, any prehistoric spiders, I might put them in there if I can find them, though I'm just thinking about them and getting the heebie-jeebies. My back just seized up. Love that for me. But some of that would work quite nice. I think just levels of dirt and just dankness. A stone wouldn't have been horrific for it, actually, to be honest. Um, hmm. Hmm. Could have had stone on that side, dirt on this side, or stone, stone, dirt, maybe. I don't know. Dirt does seem a bit overwhelming to me right now, but I can figure we'll probably do something with it. Maybe some moss, maybe some other stuff. Do you have moss in here? You do. And this looks freaking awesome. Okay, we're going to do this quickly so that my sanity can recover. Ah, maybe not here then. Although it might spread, so... That kind of be funny. In which case, we kind of want that everywhere, but hey, it's fine. Okay, you can place it on the floor. That's kind of crazy. So let's just get this the entire round, and we can see if it spreads. If it doesn't, fine, but we can just do this quickly. I think, just because I can't get it otherwise, it's just a good way of just... Can't place it here for some reason. How odd. Get it in all the other corners. I just couldn't get it in that corner. What the hell? I feel like I'm placing it above it. Weird. Yeah, it spreads. Cool. Good to know. <laughs> Mag to grid. Get rid. Right, cool. Yeah, it's already spread onto here. I'm going to need to figure that out. Oh, God. You can just watch it spread. Look. Wait for it. It's not doing it now I'm looking at it, but I know it does. So that's kind of crazy. Right, so insects, something else, something else, something else. But I think we can place the insects and the um, Dunkleosteus down. Uh, oh, do we have another water enclosure? Not finished. No, we don't. So we can't even put the Dunkleosteus down. So the insects and then whatever else goes in here. Do we have a Gigantopithecus? Giganto... Scorpio. Oh, that's going to be cool. That might go in that long width thing as well. Just insects, insects, insects. Insects and bugs and you name it. I think that'd be a really cool idea. It's quite narrow, so just working with stuff that will survive in that small enclosure is quite cool. Because I can build like things up here as well that you can look up and see a Mega Nura just hanging from. It's kind of crazy. I'm thinking of Mega Nura as a giant dragonfly. I might be wrong. 
also that could spread down to here and be on top but it won't spread over the front of it i don't know actually i shouldn't say that seeing the fish just shoal up and school up or whatever you call it is just really cool in my opinion wouldn't have minded more squid spawning but hey we'll survive looking in here the frogs looking over here the ammonites and oh, just look at them swim together beautiful do they get murdered by each other i don't know because i'm not seeing the small guys anymore to be honest they are uh, they're probably up here to be honest and they are swimming together okay yeah that looks like they're all there and then this is where we just don't have stuff yet cool i think this is a great place to end the video uh we got quite a bit done we did some more progress in there and then we released of course is a lovely helicopterium which is awesome and i'm very excited about the next few builds especially i'm not gonna lie just being able to do that and saying oh this is all done all the way through to there rough and then maybe doing that one and then just going okay we got two more we're gonna do that one and then that one because that one's big and i'd like to do it last because i'm done with the big ones but I think this is a great place to end the video. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you do smash the like button down below. If you want to make sure to subscribe and join my crazy video games, I'd super duper appreciate it. Oh, the Ivy spread. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and ta-ra.